Alright guys, today we gotta talk about something a little bit more serious than what we usually do on the channel. I'm usually not the serious type of guy. I'm usually not the bringing real life uh, serious implications onto the channel because this is a safe space. This is a, this is a, a channel for fun, for jokes, for laughter, for for making people's days happy or making them a little bit better or making somebody smile so that's that's what this channel is built for or if you, even if you want to laugh at my stupidity that's mainly what the channel is built for but a couple of days ago one nfl player made a public service announcement that i didn't really want to bring to the channel but it's gotten a lot of of criticism it's gotten a lot of attention around the sports world not just in the nfl world around the sports world and i feel like i need to talk about it just a little bit even though it probably doesn't matter what my opinion is in the grand scheme of things i feel like i just have to talk about it because it's a very very important thing to talk about so I know it's not my usual type of hilarious joking kind of video or or where we're breaking down Madden or or doing something, talking about a, a free agent sign or something, but just bear with me here. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I really want to discuss this, this public service announcement. So if you do not know, Cole Beasley made a public service announcement on Twitter on the 18th, I'm pretty sure, of June. A couple days ago and said that he was not vaccinated and he was not going to get vaccinated now i know this is a very very touchy subject and uh, i don't even personally like to talk about this stuff but i feel like we need to discuss this so if you guys don't know the nfl and the nfl players association have made rules to uh, restrict players who are not vaccinated for things they can and cannot do during the season. Players that are vaccinated have basically free reign over what, are, what they want to do. No masks, nothing. They can do basically normal stuff what they did back before all this stuff happened. But players who aren't vaccinated and who aren't going to be vaccinated have to follow a very 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 strict set of rules that cannot be broken in order to play testing every single day twice a day i think they have to wear masks at all times they have to do all this stuff and cole beasley this is straight from his twitter uh post that he that he sent out on the 18th i quote he uh is not vaccinated i will be outside doing what i do i will be out in the public if you're scared of me then steer clear or get vaccinated point blank period i may die of covid but i'd rather die actually living end quote for right there so if you want to go and read this whole public service announcement post from uh, cole beasley then you can either go to his Twitter at bees11, or you can go to my Twitter. I retweeted it on my Twitter at wait underscore what one two three four five. If you want to go there and uh, and see it, I'll link both Twitters down below in the description so you guys can go uh, look at it for yourself. So just taking from that little uh, just taking from that little quote that I just read, he's basically well, he is saying. He's not going to get vaccinated. He's going to still do what he wants to do, even without being vaccinated. Now, I personally am vaccinated. My family is vaccinated. And I don't have a problem with people that aren't vaccinated. I don't have a problem with people that say they don't want to be vaccinated, say that, that the vaccine does more harm than the actual virus does i don't have a problem with people who think that if you think that that's what you want to think i don't i don't mind that's your opinion that's what you want to say and yes you can say that science backs it up but also we can say that science backs up the vaccine works like it's, it's a whole different that's a whole different conversation so it's it's a lose-lose conversation basically but basically he's 
saying that he's not going to get vaccinated and he's going to keep doing the same stuff that he's been doing, even though he's not vaccinated and the NFL has rules specifically stating uh, what you can do and cannot do if you aren't vaccinated. But Cole Beasley's going against that, saying that he's going to do what the people that are vaccinated are going to do, even though he's not. And that's not a lot. That's not that's not good. You can't do that. That's not part of the rules. And so this brings up a whole nother argument about is Cole Beasley right? Is Cole Beasley in the right to feel? Obviously, he is in the right to feel how he feels. He can have this opinion, obviously. This is America. He can have this he can have this opinion. He can feel this type of way. But when you're in a business like the NFL, the NFL is a business, like it or not, the NFL is a business. The NFL makes billions of dollars. And when they when a business has a set of rules and you're an employee of that business and you don't want to follow those rules, well then. I hate to say this, but then you shouldn't be in that business. You're in this business to make money and to work for the NFL. And that includes following their rules. And yes, I know that their rules may seem a little bit harsh, but they're just trying to protect the majority of the population. That's all they're trying to do. It's just about protecting people's lives. And Cole Beasley endangers that, however severe it may be, he endangers that, and he breaks those rules by doing this, by coming out and saying that he's not vaccinated and he's not going to get vaccinated, he's not going to follow these rules. This isn't about your belief. This isn't about your human right. You are part of, a, of an organization. You are part of a business this is the exact it's, it'd be the exact same thing if you worked in an office and that office the management says here's the rules for people that are vaccinated here's the rules for people that aren't vaccinated you have a, a specific set of rules for each and then one employee of that of that office is not vaccinated and he says i'm going to do all the things that people that are vaccinated are doing that there's going to be consequences for that you're either going to be suspended you're either going to be straight up fired or you're going to be talked to and tried to be persuaded into following either the non-vaccinated rules or just getting vaccinated there's only three options so there's no different you can't you can't argue that this is any different than a normal business yet yeah, it's more it's more out in the public it's more it's it's bigger business but it's still business and the business put out the rules, and an employee of the business, Cole Beasley, breaks those rules. There's going to be punishment. And he's, he's gone on and said that, I quote, I'm not going to take meds for a leg that isn't broken. I'd rather take my chances with COVID and build up my immunity. Uh, let me scroll to the next. It build up my immunity that way, eat better, drink water, exercise, and do what I think is necessary to be a healthy individual. That is my choice based on my experiences, what I think is best. I'll play for free this year to live life how I've lived it from day one. If I'm forced into re retirement, so be it. So, end quote. So, I understand where he's coming from. I understand why he feels the need to say what he said in this. But that little that last little part right there where he says if I'm forced into retirement so be it. That's probably what's going to happen if he does not budge on this. The NFL can't have as bad as it may look, the NFL can't have an employee who is this against the rules they've put in place. So he may be forced into retirement. That's the really the only way. I can't see with the, the stance that he's taken, I can't see him coming back from this in a good light. That's just my opinion. I can't see him coming back from this in a good light. I see it, one possible outcome for this, and that is Cole Beasley retiring because of how he's handled this. And I'm not saying that he's handled this in a bad way. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that him going out on Twitter and saying this is bad. I'm not saying that he crossed a line 
by doing this. He has every right to post this on Twitter. He has every right to do whatever he wanted to do with this post. He has every right to take any stance that he wants to take. But when it's for a business like the NFL, who has a specific set of rules, you have to abide by those rules. You work for the NFL. The NFL has rules about this virus. And you you've broken those you've broken those rules by saying that you're not going to get vaccinated you're not going to follow the vaccination uh the non-vaccinated rules so in my opinion there's only one outcome that can come from this and that is cole beasley retiring from the nfl i hate to say that but that's the only outcome in my mind that i can see uh resulting in in this from the nfl and from what cole beasley has stated now i don't know what you guys feel about this i don't know how you guys perceive this if you guys agree with cole beasley if you guys agree with me that is totally fine if you guys agree with cole beasley i am not saying that i don't agree with cole beasley i'm not saying that i agree with cole beasley i'm kind of neutral on this because i don't really mind i don't really have an opinion on what cole beasley has said i'm not here fully for what he said and i'm not here fully against what he said so if you guys have any opinions for or against cole beasley let me know down below in the comments i'm very curious to see what the population is thinking here and what uh what you guys are feeling about if you guys agree with it if you guys disagree with it, if you agree with me if you disagree with me that's fine i can completely understand if you guys disagree with me that is totally fine i understand that not everybody's gonna th gonna think the same way or gonna have the same opinion or gonna agree on every little thing and this is a very touchy subject too already. So there's already split 50-50 population on whether or not this is a good idea in general. So I already completely understand all that. So if you guys disagree with me, don't be afraid to put down in the comments that you disagree with me or, or why you disagree with me. I'm very curious to see how you guys feel about this because this is a, this is a big topic. This is a very, very serious topic and a very, very important topic discussion that we have to have and i'm glad that i've i've uh, come on here and i've done it i've kind of talked about it not a lot of people uh talk about this because once again it's a very touchy subject and plus youtube kind of has a, a hush hush policy on this whole thing so i mean if this is if this video is crossing a line i'm sorry i didn't that was never my intention is to um, impede on anyone's opinion or force anything onto you guys that that was never what I was intended on uh, doing by making this video I just wanted to bring this to attention in case some of some people have not seen it or some people have not really fully understood what Cole Beasley was saying so I appreciate all the support that you guys give to me and I wanted to show that support back to you by talking about something that not a lot of people want to talk about because it's very uh, touchy subject so once again thank you guys so much for uh stopping by and listening and once again the twitters for my twitter and for cole beasley will be down below in the description if you want to go check out either one will have uh this article or not article but this post on on it so you guys can go read it in full for yourselves so once again make sure to smash that like button hit notification bell and the subscription button as well join the juice club and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace